At a time when change is becoming the new norm, the Chancellor, Philip Hammond, today delivered his budget on a Monday rather than a Wednesday for the first time since 1962. The moving day also aligns the budget announcement to exactly five months before Britain leaves the EU. And with that, the Chancellor committed a further half billion pounds towards preparing for Brexit and also confirmed there may be a requirement for a, an emergency budget in the spring. However, today's announcements were against the backdrop of significantly improved public finances and the ending of austerity. Austerity is coming to an end was a phrase that the Chancellor quoted throughout his, his, his announcements. And really some really welcome announcements today, particularly for Northern Ireland, with the confirmation of a £350 million Belfast City deal, which is really welcome news. And also um, welcome was the confirmation of a £2 million um, fund towards the Belfast City Centre in the aftermath of the pre-mark fire, helping many retailers that, are, that are, have suffered over the last number of months. On a wider um, number of measures, um, on personal tax, the Chancellor confirmed the increase in the personal allowance to £12,500 from April 2019, which also sees the higher rate threshold increase to £50,000. For businesses, um, we're seeing the annual investment allowance increase from £200,000 to actually £1 million, which is significantly more than many have predicted, and that will help many capital projects over the next two years. There was also some pressure within this budget um, on the Chancellor to abolish or severely restrict entrepreneurs' relief. And I'm glad to say the Chancellor with, has uh, withstood um, those pressures and has confirmed that entrepreneurs' relief will continue to uh, remain. There is a slight qualification with a qualifying period increasing from one year to two years. So really overall, a really positive um, budget for, for many businesses. But there is still this period of uncertainty as the Brexit negotiations draw to, to a close. Um, so we just have to see what, uh, what, what uh, the future holds in that regard. However, for more details on today's budget, particularly on the, uh, um, around some of, some of those investment decisions, please visit our website www.grandthorntonni.com.